Hey guys, so I totally forgot to do an intro, but today's tutorial is on my emerald green using my Milani products. So I hope you enjoy this video, and um, if you want to get this look, continue to watch. Please um, give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so I finished this eye. Um, it was a bit of a processing um, trial and error. So this is what I came up with. Um, it I did a pretty much a full green lid using the Milani um, Bella Emerald like this, and I um, packed some uh, of the Bella Gold on underneath and did the um, Bella Sand too as well and just packed it over it. And I noticed when you wet these, they're kind of work as like a baked shadow. So I wet them and I um, did that and it kind of more intensified it. So like I said, it was trial and error. Um, I really do like how it turned out and I put a little bit of gold in the inside. So um, it's not exactly what I was really thinking initially when I first started, but, you know, I was just kind of a work in progress. So I'm going to um, finish this eye and then I'll show you my um, full makeup tutorial. So foundation, brows, everything like that. But I figured I should do this eye and um, see if I really liked it and wanted to video. So using the Naked, ba Naked Basics Urban Decay um, little palette, I took the color Naked two in that one and I use that as a transitioning color in my crease so oh <laughs> so I just went in like that and as you can see I do have tape right here I use the um, technique that Jaclyn Hill uses a lot and so what I did is I took a piece of scotch tape and I lined it up about the end of tail end of my brow to right around the um, corner of my eye and that'll help give you that sharp cat eye look without having to do a wing li wing liner liner oh my gosh I'm super tongue tied right now if you don't want to do the liner but I really wanted to add a little bit of liner to it and so I gave it a little bit of cat a cat eye with the black so um, it's kind of nice too because it gives you a line of exactly where to go so I'm just going in with that transition color and putting it in my crease. And I started working on this eye earlier before um, as I was going to make the um, tutorial on both eyes. But then I just kind of started screwing up and decided mm, I'm just going to turn it off and work my magic on this eye. So um, putting that in my crease, the next step I'm going to use is... Oh my shadow brushes are like gone <laughs> and that was an eco's tool now I'm going to go in with the color Bella gold just kidding I'm not going with that color I don't know what I'm doing this is like a hot mess video but you guys get the drift you get the eye color so now going in with Bella sand I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to give it a little bit more of that gold shimmery color under the green. This look would be really cute for like St. Patrick's Day or um, going out at night, things like that. Because I try to smoke it out a little bit too. And so I'm just taking that Bella sand and putting it under my brow bone. Going in with that emerald green, I'm going to use my um, e.l.f makeup mist setting spray and I'm just going to spray my brush just to give it a little bit of um, make it a little bit damp to intensify that eyeshadow so I'm just going to go in and pack that all over my lid what I liked about this um, wetting these shadows is that this color almost turned into like a foiled eyeshadow so they just really it really intensified it and just kind of gave it that foil color that a lot of people have been really talking about I hear a lot of the um, colors like the makeup geek and things like that I'm just gonna add a little bit to this side because it kind of faded 
But that's packed onto my eyelid. I'm going to go in with the color Faint, and it's in the Urban Decay Basics palette in that brown, dark brown color. And I am going to use that in my crease and just kind of intensify the color. And it kind of gives that smoky look that I talked about earlier. This green is really pretty. Um, like I was really excited to try it out. I I don't know why I've been wanting to do green. It's just kind of a random color, and I'm getting a little bit more daring with my colors. But I just have been really really wanting to do a green eye, and I really heard that um, I have heard that with brown eyes green looks amazing and I would have to say it looks I'm pretty happy with how it looks so it's definitely a different look for me but I really really like it so just going in with that technique the windshield technique not getting all crazy and going back and forth I try not to go too high on my crease just because I didn't want it to be like super um, smoked out and kind of look like I have a black eye because that can happen too if you put it too high in your crease. So now going in over that group with that green again just because it kind of faded a little bit I'm just going to take it and pack it on my lid. Now I'm going to take my Naked Basics again and using this e.l.f. brush all my brushes are scattered everywhere so I'm like literally hunting night and day for them but um, my elf brush and it's kind of a tapered brush angled tapered brush and I'm going to use the color crave it's like a it's a black basically a black matte color and I'm just gonna go in there and do it right at the corner of my eye just to give it a little bit more depth so going in with my real technique real technique blending brush I'm just going to blend all those colors together and just blend 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 and they actually blend so nicely together like I really really like how it all blended well together so now I'm going to take the tape off and then you just want to gently peel it off this one's been sitting on my eye for a while. So, as you can see, you have that really intense cre uh, intense line right there. So, it's nice because it gives you that um, really winged cat eye. Like, can't even speak right now. thing is, you just take your finger tip and you can just remove that extra excess um, makeup that's on there. So now you can't even really see it. So now going in with this Milani um, brown foil color, it really, the color does not come off very easily. Like it kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was super, super stoked about using this and it just really did not come off very well, but it still gives me that brown, kind of that brown look that I want. I'm just looking. For the little brush okay and then it just came with this little brush like that it's just super small and I'm just gonna pack that on the bottom of my um, line on my lower lash so I'm just gonna kind of pack that on I'm sorry you can't really see what I'm doing I'm gonna I'll just use this I'm like I uh, can't really freehand my bottom of uh, my lashes I'm kind of weird like that so it just gives a little bit of a brown color. So now that I have that, I'm going to take the Bella Gold and put that in my inside corner of my eye and just put that on with my finger. And I did have a plan to use more of the gold, but I kind of like how it just went in the corner of my eye. And I'll probably put a little bit more on once I put concealer and foundation and all that jazz. So 
So now going in with a black eyeliner, I'm just going to do my waterline. And I'm not going to do it super intense, but I'm going to do it a little bit dark. And I'm just using a Wet n Wild pencil brush um, in the color black and just kind of go up. So just like that. And didn't bring it too high up on the corner of my eye. Now I just took these colors in my Naked Basics and I took the color Foxy and the color Naked 2 and the Foxy color is just like this kind of yellowy color and then I just mixed it with the Naked 2 and I just kind of lightened up the eye so it's not super super dark. Now using my Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner, I am going to line, do my cat eyes. Now I am not a perfectionist when it comes to cat eyes. I will be completely honest with you, probably say they suck, so sorry that they do, but it is, um, like I said, trial and error, and when you're first starting out, you just have to really learn the ropes of makeup and um, I will say the cat eye is just not my thing, but I love to do it. It looks super cute and super good, but when I, if I actually do it right, so, but I do like this Maybelline um, Eye Studio and it just really helps me with my eyeliner. I've tried pencils, I've tried um, cream liners, and I just don't seem to do as well as I do with a gel liner. So I'm just going to do my um, wing liner really fast. I'm not going to do it on video because it takes me forever. So um, I'll be back and we'll go over foundation and all of that. Okay, so my wing liner actually turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, so I'm really happy how it turned out. That is the um, look on the wing liner. And now I'm just going to go in and coat my lashes with Blink Mascara. I use this because it has a brown color in it. And um, I already have mascara on because I was out and about. And like I said earlier, I did a video. So I'm just going to just coat them on a little bit more and um, I know I haven't done any fake lashes but now that I'm kinda getting used to putting them on um, I'm still kinda working on putting them on and um, getting them perfected before I actually do a tutorial with the fake lashes so I'm just going to skip that part and not do any lashes today I really like this mascara because it does give my um, lashes a lot of volume and makes them really lengthening. They lengthen a lot, so that's what I like, and they just kind of pop, so. And I honestly don't think I really need to. Now for foundation, I already have foundation on. Um, I'm just gonna go in a little bit with it and kind of cut, touch up a little bit because I did get some um, fallout and I am using the matte stay rim stay matte by Rimmel and it looks like that and I'm in the color true ivory so I'm just using my real techniques beauty blender and it's super dirty so don't judge and I'm just going to add a little bit more to the face so um, it is a little bit lighter than my skin is right now but being that it's fall, I'm just going to go with it. And I can always put a little bit of bronzer on too to darken up. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the face, kind of where the fallout was. And I'm just going to use the pressed powder stay matte by Rimmel as well and just set everything because like I said, I've had makeup on today. This video definitely is very half backwards and <laughs> it's just kind of all over the place so I apologize. So now going in with the Stay Matte by Rimmel, 
I'm just going to, ooh, that's really bad glare, sorry. I'm just going to go in. And this color is in Sandstorm. And I am just taking a Ecos brush. It's a really big fluffy brush. And going to just put that all over my face and set my foundation. My poor face has had so much makeup on today that it is going to need a little hydration and a break tonight because it has got so much makeup on. But I am loving this eye. Like, I was really scared to do it, but I just, I am so excited about it. I'm not going to lie. So now I'm going to um, go in with some concealer sealer and I am using the Age Rewind by Maybelline. It looks like that and I'm using the color Light Pale and I like to just take my concealer and go from almost the corner of my eye to down my nose right here and just do a little triangle. Since I have gold right there I'm just kind of trying to miss it a little bit. So I just kind of, then I'll go in with a beauty blender and just kind of dab it on there. So, looks like that. Now for my bronzer, I am taking my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the color Sunny, and it's just a nice matte color. And I am going to start doing a little bit of contouring and some bronzing. Using this e.l.f. blending brush, I love this to contour with. And I don't do a really intense contour, I just like to do more natural, but um, with this dramatic look, you can definitely do some contouring and do a chiseled look. So taking it from the tip of your ear to the end of your mouth, you're just going to dab that bronzer on and just slightly go like that and go upwards. So, and this is all really new to me, the whole contouring thing, but, and you can see where it kind of gives me that chiseled look on my cheekbones. And it really, I feel like, complements my cheekbones so you can see it, because I do have pretty strong cheekbones. And I really do like the look of it, but I don't want it to be, like, super intense, so I just like to blend it out. So it looks like that. Now I am just going to take my Avon um, brush and it is a loose powder brush and it just looks like that. And I'm just going to take the color Sunny again and just put this all over on my temples and down my face. So like right about here and then down the other way and now I just go under my chin and then just make sure so it just gives me a little bit more depth with my face and so I'm not so light now going in with a blush color, um, I am going to use this Romantic Rose. I'm going to use a really light hand with it just because it is pretty um, pigmented and it has a lot of color and I don't want to be like too much color going on with my cheeks because I'm going to do a couple different lip colors um, with this look. my Avon, I'm just going to use a light hand in my cheek color and just use it as the apples on my cheeks and just blend it in. This color is just so pretty as you can see it just brings a gorgeous rosy color. Love that color. This is the first time I've used it and I absolutely love it. This is the blush I was looking for so Kudos to Milani. They are just rocking it. So now I'm going to use my Mary Lou Lou. I can never say this. Mary Luminizer, that cheek color, and just lightly put it on because this stuff is very pigmented. 
and a little goes a long ways and just put it at the top of my cheekbone and you can see where that highlight that highlight is so intense but oh my gosh I love it so much I was so excited to get this stuff so totally stoked about it so that is for my highlight okay so I did forget one step in my makeup tutorial and I just want to say it really quick um, for my eyebrows I just touched them up really quick with um, this Maybelline Define Eyebrow and it has this awesome little comb on the end and then it's this um, little stick cream stick and I use the color medium brown so I really like how it filled in my eyebrows and um, just really nice to use and it just fills them in really good so anyways um, and I now for the next uh, step for my lips so I wanted to do three lip looks and just kind of gives you an idea of um, how much variety you can do with this look so this is my NYX butter um, lipstick and I love this I love love their lipsticks and it's in the color candy button so it's kind of like a really corally um, pastel pastel like pinky color so I'm just gonna put that on my lips So if you're wanting to intensify that coral look, I have this Intense Butter Gloss, and it is, again, from NYX, and this color is Sorbet. So I was just going to put a little bit on there. A little bit goes a long way with these colors, and I think this would just be so pretty to add. So, I'm, so you can see how intense, intense it is. <laughs> so that is the final look for the coral lip. And I really, really like these colors together. This would be such a pretty spring look, even though you have that dramatic eye, but you can do this at night. So even during the fall, it looks really nice too. So I really like these lips with um, this lip color with this look. So love this. It's a color by L'Oreal, and it's called Golden Splendor. And it looks like this. I think it would just be a gorgeous color for this look because there is gold on my eyes and I'm just gonna put this on so just so pretty and it looks like that now I'm going to take that color Bianca from Buxom and just put it over my lips so I really like this nude look it's super pretty and the buxom just gives you a little bit of more shine so that's what this color looks like with these green eyes so for my final lip color I am going to try this rose femme and it is by Milani and it's just gonna be that dark vampy look and I think it'll look really good with this look I really like this color it looks super nice on love how this look turned out I was super nervous about it because like I said I've never done green but it had honestly turned out so amazing and I hope you really enjoyed watching this video I'm sorry it was just kind of all over the place but um, it's getting better I'm getting more used to things uh, make I'm getting a lot more comfortable with makeup and getting the um, exact look I want so I have to say this turned out amazing and for the first time it just is more than what I even expected so thank you for watching and please subscribe and more tutorials will be up soon and um, thank you everyone for watching thanks bye